Yo, this is Nagash Ali, and you're watching the Bishan. I had a homie slide slide off like Black Star album um, and um, like Immortal Technique and stuff. So I would get into like the more lyrical side of things. And the reason why I did that was because, you know, I feel like it was the first time that ly lyrics like really spoke to me on a different level. Um, so I would say that like that was my real like entry to hip hop. It was getting those records and, you know, get getting to read the lyrics and that kind of opened my world up to a lot of the conscious rap. So I would say that was, that was like my entry. So I was watching De La Soul and I think, I think we were like 15 people at the concert or whatever. And I just remember like, wow, you know, um, it's probably a one time experience that I like ever get to see Daylight in like such an intimate setting. Um, so that was special for me. Uh, I remember opening up for MF Doom once, you know, that was special for me as well. I was just a kid back then. So I was I was in this group called Majors. Uh, like I, I think I was in shit, I was in high school or like ninth grade or some shit. Um, and yeah, we started performing and we started getting international shows as well. Uh, so yeah, man, I remember like as soon as that album dropped, I quit school because I felt like I was doing two things, you know, 50-50, so I just focused all my energies on that. And you know how it goes, you know, your city got your back, you know, those are the people that are going to champion you, so, you know, my whole city kind of helped me get up there, and, uh, and from then on I released my solo album, and that went really well. I started going to Paris, London, and now I'm here. So, luckily I had a mother who always, you know, was like pretty free with it, so she was like, if you're gonna do it, do it well, you know, take that shit seriously. But she was also like, you know, it's, uh, you know, you gotta be prepared for the life you have to live when you're an artist, but basically she was supportive, you know, so, so I've been lucky in that sense. I like the magic moments where you get an idea uh, and, and like something just clicks. So, you know, for me, like my writing process sometimes, I may not put pen to paper, I might have an idea and, excuse me, it may just be circulating for like a little minute, and then I just explode at one point because all of the ideas kind of tied together. So that moment when you're just writing the whole thing, I love that. In terms of performing, um, it's like euphoria. You know, you and the crowd are just sharing the, the exact same energy. And I feel like that's like, that's one of the highest feelings that I've ever gotten, you know. You see, like the beautiful thing is you get to travel with your stuff, you know. You get to see different cultures. You know, your, your whole horizon gets expanded from it, you know. So I would say traveling by far, you know, uh, music is like my music has took me to Africa, to the States, to Europe, you know what I mean, to South America and stuff. Um, so, so that has definitely been one of the more special things. And also, you know, you, you forge relationships with people that are just special. And, you know, I, I feel like the, 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 very, the very relationships you have, like, that, that came through music are super special to me, you know. You know, I just want to touch people the same the same way that that music touched me as a kid, and you know, enlightened me as a kid. You know, and um, and that's my that's my biggest purpose. You know, that's my biggest. That's the only impact I want to have. I want to have fans that I essentially feel like are people that I would fuck with if I just met them. You know, um, and yeah, just bring positivity to this world. I feel like that's the only thing.